Welcome back to the 14th episode of a Panzer Corps Allied Corps DLC playthrough. Now let's get to the briefing. We've chased Rommel entirely out of Libya, but now that we've entered Tunisia, it appears the Fox is ready to stand and defend his den. Indications are that Rommel intends to mount an attack near Medinine, the purpose being to slow our advance on his defenses at Mereth. This appears to be a rather low-level affair, and you must counter it as quickly as possible. When you do, seize the moment to advance onto the Mareth line. The line will be tough to crack. It's heavily fortified, and direct assault will be difficult. However, the long-range desert group has discovered that it can be outflanked. A broad left hook maneuver through the Tabaga Gap and terminating at Gabez in the rear of the line might win the day for us at relatively little cost. Moreover, it could trap the entire Axis force. Naturally, when the Germans detect this maneuver, they'll react with utmost vigor, so you must move quickly. Ah, will do, will do. Triumph, capture and hold four objectives and prevent Axis units from evacuating the area. Uh, we got access to some new equipment here, mainly infantry that interests me, the other stuff here I don't really care that much about. We're gonna replace our uh, casualties from the previous mission, and we're gonna open up the stats panel here with F7. And we'll just throw regular replacements at our Churchills and our recon units, it is fine. Don't care too much about the experience of them, but we're gonna overstrength, uh, overstrengthen, well, overstrength. <laughs> Our artillery units for a little bit of that extra oomph as we uh, go in here. And there we go, and then we have our air force, which uh, we have a lot of prestige actually. Might as well just overstrength them too. And there we go, well, not so much the mosquitoes, but the spitfires that we're 100% bringing since they're our elite units. Now. In this scenario here, you have a massive minefield with a bunch of other strong points here, uh, bunkers basically, uh, that we need to deal with and bypass. However, we can flank around on the left side here with a limited force in a reasonable amount of time. And we need to prevent any Axis units whatsoever from reaching this point when they start the retreat. So. First off, since there's so many mines, I would say we go in with uh, some engineer teams, sir. Let's maybe space them out like this. And actually, we have this Churchill here with plus one movement. We can put this in here just for now. We'll probably put it somewhere else later, or we'll, we'll see what we do. And let's see, this one's got spotting plus one. We'll put that here. This one's got spotting plus one, so we have uh, just a little bit of extra spotting coming out from these two guys. And... Let's plop down these Churchill cells as well. I think we get a few... Wait a minute, this one has plus one defense. I haven't added that to it though, so... Now I have. Uh, looking for the one with range plus one. This is the one. We put that here. Uh, plus three defense and movement plus one. We'll put that here. Wait, did I not... Did I not upgrade uh, what? Ah, I forgot to add uh, the one. Either way, so I'm gonna put one artillery behind each infantry unit to stay out of weak as once in the initial uh, German attack here and will be the easiest prey for the uh, German units. And uh, let's see, other than that, what do we do? What do we do? We can place five more units, four of which we need to place here. Too much artillery might not be good, we need a little bit of actual ground forces, and I think we'll just stay with the uh, Spitfires that we have here. That should be able to carry us through on this one. We can place five more units. So you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm just going to buy five more Churchills. Quite frankly, let's do that. Well, that goes a lot of our prestige, but... Uh, that should be fine. So we already had five Churchills, so now we have sixth Churchill. Seventh Ch uh, Churchill. Eighth Churchill. Ninth Churchill. And tenth 
Churchill. And there we go. We'll put one more here. And the other four over here. And there we go. This four should be able to get up here fast enough to cut off the enemy retreat. If we just move the max amount of tiles we can every turn and just push through. This should be a fine configuration. Let's just go with it and see what happens. So initially, oh, that's a pretty decent uh, artillery strike there. A little bit of casualties on our engineers, but that thing is half dead already, so that's good. Here comes another thing. Ooh, not quite the same on that one. No damage done to that, and our engineers still took quite the hit. We'll start moving in these guys, I'd say. Uh, so, like this. Now I have some prior knowledge with this map, so we're just gonna utilize that knowledge to do this as good as possible. I don't think we need to worry about the enemy air force just yet, so we're gonna fly in and we'll try to uh, sorry, to inflict some casualties on these various units there. And we'll see if we can suppress this guy a bit. Uh, suppress by four. I mean, if we can actually also do some damage, that would be good. Eight out of ten suppressed. Okay, it has a little bit of anti-air capability, so... Well, okay, that uh, was very ineffective, but what are you gonna do? So what I'm thinking is we can move this guy in here, and we'll... Uh, throw one artillery barrage at that guy. Ooh, that's pretty decent. And one at this guy. Then we attack this guy with the Churchill, finish him off, that's fantastic. Maybe if we're lucky, this is a scorpion I can get him. Not quite. But we can just move in the Churchill and so far. There we go, that's dealt with. And, um, yeah, let's just attack this guy, I guess. Wow, he is surviving so much. Like ridiculously much, even. Let's see what we can do with a scout unit, though. Uh, we did not chase it back. We attacked the engineers. And we finished them off. That's good. And I would say that we restock our units ever so slightly, like, uh, like this here. And attack this guy again. <laughs> Seriously, though. It is Pencil 3. Pencil 3N. It's like defense. I mean, experience 3, I guess. So plus 2 defense for that, I believe. Experience bonus plus 3. Now that's initiative. And defense plus 3. My, my, what? My guys only get like. For 2 experience, they get plus 1. Well, they did previously. What the fuck? Right, either way, we move these guys in here a little bit, move that up here, that guy there, and get the placements for those guys, so they are ready to take on the minefields. And that's turn one, we pass on turn. Okay, so now flank my uh, artillery, we can't have that. Oh, bad decision though, to attack the infantry, it has two artilleries behind it, but... Uh, oh my god, it just doesn't die! Effective defense 16. <laughs> what still? Holy crap. Okay, well, we got, uh, we're seeing the first enemy aircraft, so. Let's see if this these two are enough to actually take it out. This uh, fighter here. Oh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, that should absolutely be enough, I'd say. Nice, and then we can take on the strategic bomb here. Ooh, yeah, they are not having a good time. Oh, we'll just keep advancing up here. Lead Churchill keeps speeding away from the rest of them, and that's fine. And yeah, the other ones just follow behind. Okay, we need to deal with this recon unit. Which maybe we can do with one Churchill, hopefully. No, not quite. We're going to have to use the other one as well. Which we will. we just get rid of it. Okay, and then if we can finally take out this guy, that would be fantastic. 
So we're going to tow a bit of artillery at it and then. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> For crying out loud, it just does not want to die. There we go. Okay, so we can move these up another step here. We got the placements for them. Move this guy forward. We shouldn't be able to get to my artillery, so we should be fine in those regards. Ah, this artillery has the plus one movement, so that's good. We can then suppress this guy a bit before attacking. Whoa. Ah, he got his ass handed to him. Uh, let's see what we do with this. Uh, let's just be a little bit careful with our... Uh... Nah, I mean, it's probably fine like this. Uh, I think the enemy mines start here, so... Two engineers can get up on the mines next turn and start working at them. Okay, one aircraft flew away. But I know where that aircraft is going. Chasing after it could be worse than just letting it come back and attack again, but if it targets one of my artillery units, though, we're gonna lose the overstrength. But if we go for it, we're gonna lose the overstrength on our, um, on our fighters. We got some enemy up there, let's see what's up. Alright, so some recon unit, okay. Uh, the thing is, the airfield is there. There's no other airfield nearby, so this is where it will be. Um, I think we just fly over and kill it. We're gonna take a turn five on that 88, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Take out the Stuka, and oh, I forgot there is actually another fighter unit over here. Oh, that's not going to pose much threat to us now. There's a tank here that we should probably deal with. Yeah, now we attack. That was uh, highly ineffective. I'll move this Churchill down here to uh, do the fall. Okay, well, that works. That absolutely works. Now I got this guy over here, which uh, is kind of backed into the minefield. We might be able to force a uh, surrender from him. We don't have any more ground units except for that guy. But oh well, uh, let's see. I will attack with the church. So. Whoa. Okay then. That works for me. There we go. So I'll move this artillery in here. Might as well just start throwing shells at this guy. And this infantry here takes out this mine. And then we have artillery behind if this wants to attack anything. Except if we go for this minefield here. Which might not be the best move right now, but let's do it. Let's not waste any time. be too crazy with the artillery with this airplane because I don't want to lose the overstrength. So now that we have Spitfires covering all our artillery pieces, so we're good. This thing could be a little bit dangerous to our tanks though, but let's pass on to the next turn. Okay, the enemy aircraft ran away. He attacked her for not much effect, that's good. And yeah, we lose some overstrength there, but uh, oh well. Oh, well. Okay, that actually was quite the uh, sizable hit we took there. Alright, so I'm thinking uh, we push up past this. And attack first with the Churchill. Then with these guys. Wow, they took a lot of casualties and did not do too much damage themselves, though. But oh well. So, uh, that enemy aircraft flew off somewhere else. So it might come back to be annoying at some later point. 
But it is what it is, whatever. We just need to guard our uh, artillery a little bit and we should be fine. Move this guy in here, suppress that guy if we can. Fully suppressed, let's kill it. And kind of start chewing away at like the center mine, so. Remove a Churchill in here. Ah. Miscalculation, whatever. In there though, and we just take out these mines. And we do need to deal with this tank here as well. And I kind of overlooked him a bit, if I'm honest. Um, but it should not be a problem. Not with the amount of artillery we can throw at them here. And I think uh, this guy should reach him, yeah. Not entirely gone, but close. So maybe we can finish him with the engineers? No, we can't. Now we'll just do this. Like the thing is, we have three units surrounding him right now, so he's not going to be able to resupply or anything. So we're going to get replacements for that uh, Churchill over there. Actually, now we can use this guy. Even better. Okay, so... Um, there's more mines to take out. I think, yeah, we attack with the Churchill here. That's fairly good, I'd say. Now, these bunkers offer up four sparring for the enemy, so you can easily see my artillery at all times, which is unfortunate if he comes back with that airplane, but oh well. Uh, we need to kind of smash through these pretty fast here uh, with our uh, Churchills. This is an auxiliary unit. I might actually spend a little bit of um, prestige on to get back to full strength, because it can come in so handy in, uh, in what we're trying to do here. I'll send it over here, go down here, and get the placements. I'll just do this. And uh, we'll move the other Churchills in to see how far we can get this line of Churchills going. We're going to be running into some steep opposition here. But, that should be fine. We're just going to shield this guy for now. Hopefully, anyway. And, uh, okay, we refuel this. And we see where we land with our artilleries. Can we maybe finish this? Not quite. But, we might be able to with an aircraft. No hope, no chance. Okay. We're going to get the placements for this engineer team here. Move this Churchill in here, and there's some more mines we might want to deal with. I uh, can't do that. Well, we can do that right now, actually. Then we can send this Churchill back one step, and attack this uh, strong point with the engineers. Move artillery up a little bit, and the ones on the back burner here are low on ammo, so we just supply them. I uh, could probably wait one more turn, but oh well. And we should be able to uh, just crush this bunker and push through relatively quickly. Good. And now these Churchills come back into play. So I'm not sure if there's uh, any further minefields, so there might not be actually. So anyway, we're going to put the, the Spitfire here to cover should they want to uh, send our Air Force at me. And that's it. Passing on to the next turn. Okay, we got enemy tank coming in. Oh, no, please don't force me to surrender, though. Thank Lord for that. Okay, so, there is a enemy tank we definitely want to deal with. Let's just get some mass attack going on that. Uh, we'll attack with this guy first, doesn't really matter. Then this guy. Okay, we're doing fine so far. That did not finish him off, but oh well. Keep just kind of fanning out her a little bit. Finish him off with this. And then I want this Churchill to move quite a bit over here. Oh, there's an anti-tank unit. Um, well, that's not ideal, but oh well. We'll just use the recon guy right there. It should be fine. Oh, well, that's a tank. Uh, whatever. I mean, this anti-tank unit is not 
particularly strong. It's just the recon unit can't really take it on. We'll engage those Falchemjägers there with our airplane, fall back for refueling. And these guys also need to go and refuel. Well, let's see what we can do. We'll move in with the... Um, we'll move in here, and there are some more mines, so if we can actually... Crush these Falchemjägers, that would be good. Very nice. It's very good that they left their... Uh, Defensive position actually, because now we can kind of force ourselves through her more easily. We don't need to actually fight all this stuff, we just need to push through and make sure the enemy does not get to actually retreat. That's our main thing here. So we can move this Churchill in, start attacking the strong point. Ah, a little bit of damage, but oh well. We located another mine. We attack the strong point again, there's that enemy earth. Aircraft, but I don't want to go in with the uh, with the 88s covering it. Though. There, we're pretty much busting through her, huh? so we'll just go in here, attack the strong point again, right, and we'll move in the artillery. I know there's an artillery here; it's going to reach quite far, but not extremely far. We'll also engage that with these engineers. We might have a little bit too many engineers, actually. But we fly this guy over here to guard our artillery should that aircraft come in again. And uh, this artillery can't reach us, although we shouldn't park our engineers right next to that bunker there. What we can do though is this. And uh, one, two, three here, you can put it. And that's it, pass on to the next turn. Oh my lord. Okay, well, he decided to go for my church, which is... Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, we're gonna have to pay to get them back then. And this church is out of ammo now. Ah, plus one initiative. Okay. We're informed Axis are evacuating the forces. Well, we're breaking through the lines as well, so that's good. Either way. <clears throat> oh, my bad. First uh, Churchill. A1, I1. And, uh, well, since we lost that uh, engineer unit there, we can then instead maybe bring along a mosquito. Sometimes you just get unlucky. There's not too much you can do about it. So, okay, let's uh, let's move these forces around over here first, maybe. I want to kind of push through. So let's take out the anti-tank unit there. As soon as we can. Beautiful. Then attack this guy. I want to keep moving while we're doing this because there are units over here that we are going to need to deal with and cut off from the treaty. Um, so yeah, we just go this way basically. Over here. This guy can just kind of fall back for now. Maybe no. Now this is an anti-tank unit that's really fucking dangerous, an M41M DA-9053, 20 hard attack. That's pretty insane. But if we can just start taking on these guys, and deny them the chance to actually retreat, it would be good. We're kinda cutting the lines uh, off though. Kinda. Let's see if this won't be enough for uh, We'll get both these guys in. Let's go with the 11 first and then the 10. Okay, well, there goes the overstrength, but oh well. I guess there goes the airplane entirely, so let's say we came out on top of uh, that one. Well, let's just bomb the living hell out of this guy. Take out this strong point there. Push the tank down here, flail away these mines. We'll then maybe move in or, uh... Well, we can move up one step there. Compile these guys some more. Fully suppressed, we attacked him with the engineers. For absolutely no fucking damage, I'm joking. Okay then, well, we can put some pressure on the enemy artillery at least. 
And I'll just fire off with these guys before we uh, do too much else with them. We get pretty well resupplied if we go for resupplying with these guys as well. We'll just... Ah, oh, right, the artillery behind. Well, whatever. We did fine. We did good. It's not a problem. We just resupply these guys. It's fine. Uh, move that artillery up a little bit. Same with these. Uh, these kind of hanging behind here. That should be good. Uh, not sure we need to do replacements of these guys, actually. Probably I won't, to be honest. So, rugged defense. Oof. Yeah, maybe we just bypass that. They're gonna want to retreat at some point anyway. What's the chance of rugged defense, sir? 49%. Yeah, I mean, let's not even bother. Really, it's gonna be too many casualties. Mm hmm. Oh no, my overstrength! That one artillery hitter took away like 150 freaking prestige points from me. For fuck's sake. And that's why I don't like overstrength, dude. One hit like that, I mean, it's basically a new recon unit. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, whoa! We're gonna have to uh, get replacements for those guys. And uh, maybe we can fly the mosquito in here. Do a stop here. Bomb that piece of trash. Get him with some uh, artillery as well if we can. Beautiful. Attack plus one. Finally, we get attack plus one on an artillery piece. It's, it's like been defense all the damn time. And who the hell wants defense on artillery pieces? I'm sure it's not completely worthless, but it is not my choice of thing to have on an artillery unit. Either way, we can fly in here, hit this guy once, and then fly off. Anything we can do to cause some damage here should be good. Um, flying in with these as well. Now we can fly and engage this. For no actual effect or whatever. Uh, do this, fly back there. And if we can... Hmm. Let's see if we can kill those guys. I mean, they're in a swamp right now, so... Should be able to fuck them up. Brilliant. Okay, we can move this Churchill up a little bit. This infantry as well, and... This guy can just at least kick in with some mass attack, I guess. We'll attack these guys to the radio. That's an easier target. Oh, we could have attacked the artillery, actually. But oh well. I kind of want to force these guys to retreat, if I'm honest. Or that, even better. Then we can move the uh, engineers in here. And do serious damage to that 88. And this Churchill here can... Well, just move over there, I guess. Okay, so... I'm risking a bit with this artillery now, but it's overstrength is already gone, so I don't really care that much. Uh, the range of these. I will move this artillery piece in there and hope they don't move any closer. Now this is my main concern right there. We should try to avoid that until we can get the mosquito on it. Or one of these other airplanes. Uh, in the meantime, we can start eating up the other units they have here. This is like there's nothing else. We are now behind the lines. We have them cut off. Uh, um, well, I really don't like those, these card shots and guys. They're so stupidly so I like they have six ground defense. It seems like they have like 60 sometimes. See, they just they just take everything you throw at them. It's quite annoying. How stupidly resilient they could be in the hands of the AI. No, 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 we don't want to attack with these things. All that, screw that. Let's just pass next turn. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, well, now that's active again. So if anyone attacks it again, 
Mark's gonna fight that, uh, no suppression. Oi, well, at least it wasn't too bad this time, and it really got kicked in the ass for. So that's quite nice. Now, okay, we can first get the Spitfire on it, actually. Which we can then just fly back here, and uh, we'll take that airfield now. Take out that guy. Get the mosquito on him. Beautiful. Right. Hit that guy pretty hard. Fly back with a Spitfire. Fly this Spitfire here closer to the action. Might as well just fly, fly him over to the uh, airport there. And I think let's take this CD8 there on. If we can do so without too many casualties. Supply this Churchill. And I guess we just take out this possession here as well, because it's kind of getting in the way a little bit. So we might as well take it out before we bypass it after the bit. So, there we go. And, well... Rugged defense. Because of course rugged defense. Four engineers can't die to them at least. You can't even kill them either though. Oh my lord. Well. Whatever. We got them pretty good now though, so it's all it's all fine. Um if we move these guys in. Well, let's just keep the artillery bundled up here for now. Fall back with these guys so we can actually resupply them a little bit more than we currently can. And let's get these card shits so totally behind the support. Them. Right. Right, right, right. Well, there we go. Finally, we got rid of that crap. That's doing a bit of work there. I'll attack this um, artillery with this guy. Surrounded, it can't resupply or anything. I'm just gonna make sure nothing breaks through over here. Don't want any of these things to escape. So we're gonna have to get on them. And uh, with that, we pass to the next turn. Oh, okay, they're running away. I would say that makes them into easy pickings. We could just get four churches smack dab over there and then life would be good, but... I mean, if we can fight them, let's fight them, I guess. Um... We'll crush these guys, I think, is the move right now. Pretty much the move anyway, we're gonna resupply this church right here, and then we'll go down here with this guy. Attack, and where do we put our airplanes now? Hmm. The weakest one can maybe finish this guy. Yep. Then we can maybe finish this, if we're lucky. Nope, not that lucky. That's fine. Okay, this tank is screwed anyway, but we might as well buy it. Not necessarily doing things in the perfect order right now, but it should be fine. Now we just resupply all our turtles before we move them up. Uh, we can supply this guy as well. Take this, supply this Churchill, push up with the other Churchills. And kind of get on the tail of these guys, so attack that. Rugged defense doesn't really cut it for an artillery unit. Move the infantry here up. This guy resupply. Okay, what have we not moved? This church, and let's attack. Okay, we just need to make sure nothing here can escape. Oh, right. Well, that's not so good. 
Oh, you bloody fucking cockroaches. Oh, my engineers, they just... I, <laughs> every scenario, I lose at least one engineer unit. At least like the last three or something, if you count this. Ah, oy vey. What are you gonna do? Well, I know exactly what I'm gonna do, actually. Axis forces are in retreat. Prevent, prevent them from escaping. Well, we do have more mosquitoes that we could place. We have to place them back here. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping we'd plop them down on our airfield, but apparently not. Either way, resupply these guys, and, uh, well, payback time. Motherfuckers. Guess who's gonna get, uh, shell rain? Oh, yeah, right, it's these pieces of trash. Okay, we can move this artillery piece. Ah, well, wait till this guy's dead, I guess. Treated in three swamp there, so maybe not quite. All right, then. Um, either way, we attack this. We attack. Well, we can put a Spitfire on this guy, I guess. And that guy. Should really take these uh, 88s out if we can. Huh. Interesting. Now there's a little gap here. I just want to make sure that I see everything that might bypass. There we go. Resupply these guys. Got the uh, Churchill in here. Very nice. Okay. What else can we do this time? Not much. Passing time. Right. Oh, the 88 is still. Well, we can maybe force a surrender on that guy, actually. Uh, if we just. Yeah, I should be able to force a surrender here. Yep. Hopefully be able to finish this guy. Oh, enemy air force. Okay. Not for long, I'm thinking. All the overstrength on the air force is gone, but... Oh well. Good. Very good. Now we can move in this and just... Use the brand carriers for that. Well, let's just make sure we've got everything here. Not leaving behind any stragglers and such. There's no reinforcement or resupplying for that guy. We are, however, going to resupply this guy. And bomb this. Fly back here, refuel, hopefully finish it now. Perfect. And then... What else is there we need to deal with? Uh, let's get that airfield and attack over here. Rugged defense. Well, it did not help them. So, I think we've taken out most of the Axis units now, actually. Resupply that guy. Keep that guy over there to block retreat possibilities for the enemy. Oh, we should probably take this city here for some extra prestige. Right, that's that turn. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, well we can take that down with a church here. Should be fine. Two churches might be better than one. 
Oh, really now? Oh, really now? Ah. Tough guy, eh? Tank unit over there. We need to go deal with that, I guess. Uh, not necessarily something I want to send my tanks on. At least not alone. I will see. View range of one of these guys. Need to make sure it doesn't retreat. I'm not sure it will, though, but if it will, then well, I need to make sure it doesn't, basically. Just gonna bypass this area here. Put the Churchill over here, the engineers over there. Bombard them a little bit more. I don't think they're gonna leave the city to get the, the units. Or well, to get my artillery, I mean. So it should be fine. And these guys here. Maybe back up here if necessary, I guess. And yeah, let's just get this guy if we could. Okay, that's decent. And there we go, fantastic. And that's ours. Attack with the engineers. Wee vey, well, that's how it can go sometimes, just trying to take away some of the entrenchment on those guys. Uh, well, at least they didn't attack artillery, so as long as that doesn't happen, I'm happy. We can, however, keep uh, pummeling this uh, TD unit over here. As much as possible before we set in an attack. We can also pummel this guy some more. Alright, did we not have another aircraft? Yes, we did. Just keep bombarding him with artillery. Simultaneously as we move the artillery further up north to bomb that guy out. Okay, fantastic. Not gonna take that city just yet though, because I fear that if I do, we might actually win. And I don't want to win just yet, I want to take this before I do. We have so many Churchills, it is actually a bit ridiculous. And I want to take this as well before we do, for some extra prestige. Okay, that wasn't perfect. And there we go, that's pretty good. Alright, let's get that. La -di -da -di -da. I think we're good, we just passed the next turn. Oh, hello. Okay then. Well, let's kill that too. If we can. Should be able to. Can a Spitfire reach? Not quite. Maybe we need a Mosquito down here. I think we do. We'll just send down a Mosquito for a good measure. Ah, that works. Alright, well, we're good. Uh, wonder where the hell that came from, but okay. And yeah, we just bombed this guy a little bit more. And he is so fucked. Now uh, we can strafe him with the Spitfire. Whew. Finish him with an artillery piece. Not that artillery piece, apparently. There we go. Take this city here. Take that airfield. And turn win game, I guess. So, in fact, we're just going to save. AC-14E for Allied Core 14N. Save and end turn. Triumph! There we go. A monumental success. The Moret line has been pierced, and now the Eighth Army can undertake its advance into the interior of Tunisia. It won't be long now before Africa is cleared of all Axis forces, thanks to you. Beautiful. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, I would appreciate if you would leave a like on it, and or maybe even subscribe. It would certainly help my channel out. Either way, you can catch me in the next one, so have a good one.